Hello guys, what's up and welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Work Studio. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can create some suitable render setting in Enscape. So before we start this tutorial, this is the simple environment with the simple outside without any special HDRI. And this is my decoration, some simple MDF wood cover and some partitioned wall in here. So I'm going to start my job with pressing F on my keyboard and click on the A1 in here. So now I can change my camera setting, light setting and sun setting, very simple and easy. This setting, which I will learn you uh, how to manage it, one of the most useful settings that you can use for your all renders so let's get to work i'm going to click on the uh, visual setting in here move it to the right side and start my job with the field of view so field of view helps me to focus on my target and job so i want to focus on the uh 39 degree to see these dolls these toys and some other things in here and the exposure is really important but before i change the exposure i need to click on the atmosphere and turn off the sun brightness to see what's really happened all right some type of realistic natural light like this is really wonderful i'm going to turn off the fog option click on the skybox turn off the density variety and size amount plus contrails now we have some clear gi source for ourselves now I can come back to the atmosphere and turn on the uh, sun brightness to see what really happened in my job. Something like that is really wonderful. 80% is a good number for it. I'm going to reduce it as I can to some type of decade number about 8%. Shadow sharpness is really important. I don't want to see these window sharpnesses so I can turn it off. To create these type of soft shadows it's really wonderful artificial light brightness not really useful now because we don't have any spotlights ambient brightness is really important look at these places in your job as you can see some place for example under this table some places like that these dark areas behind this flower vase when i increase the uh, ambient brightness i can see some type of smooth brightness in these part of my job it control the uh, sunlight for all of your render elements so i'm going to press f come back to my camera some number about 78 percent is good for the uh, ambient brightness wind is completely zero in the sky we don't have any special job but i will turn back to the main bar and play with the exposure before i turn it off or turn it on I will turn off the auto exposure in here and re-expose my screen manually. Some number about 56 or 57% is really good. I'm going to turn on the depth of fill, turn off the autofocus and play with the focal point to reach to the best result. I only want to focus on this console in here. Something like that. 4 point i think 4.10 meter is suitable and i'm gonna turn on the uh, ultra quality rendering for this shot it will helps me to manage my lights and other things the projection is on the two point perspective and i need a little bit outlines to create some type of artistic render seven percent is good i'm gonna click on the image bar turn on the auto contrast to add my own contrasts in here so i think saturation can be increased a little bit about 109 percent and color temperature i want some warm rendering so i can reduce the color temperature to some number about 5600 calvina motion blur is zero because it's related to the animation but lens frame and bloom is really important when i increase the bloom option you can see what happened in center of our render. It completely get a little bit faded. So I need some value about 6% and lens flare is about 66. Wignate can be increased to some number about 46 and chromatic aberration is 0. So only one work left for us and we want to done it up. I'm going to change it to the Ultra HD rendering. Minimize it. Sketch up in here. 
I'm gonna click on the uh, Enscape Material Editor and select the uh, Navoji White in here and click on the Color Advanced. Select this color code, Control C, and now I want to change the type of it to the uh, Self Illuminate. So it really helps me in my job. I'm gonna paste it, Control V, and everything is done. I can play with the uh, lumens, so I will reduce it to some number about 1200 candela per meter. Roughness is zero, and I think time for the rendering. For this part of my job related to electrical keys in here, I'm going to click on the paint bucket, click on the uh, sample paint, pick it up. Crackle is my color, but I have some problem with it, so I'm going to click on it and change the color to the gold color. I'm going to click on the uh, gold in here and add it to my job. And for these electrical phases, I'm going to do this job again and again. Rename it. In the edit mode, I will adjust the RGB channel. Click on the Enscape Material Editor. Golden Ore selected for me. Focus on this part of my job. Look at it. I'm gonna turn off the uh, roughness and turn on the Metallica to create some type of ironical keys for my job. So roughness is about 9% and spectra is about 67% in here. I think it's good for me now and time for the R uh, rendering. So I'm gonna close the group A1 selected for me. I'm gonna maximize the Enscape in here. And I'm going to click on the uh, screenshot, save it as the uh, interior decoration on my desktop and press save. It depends on your graphic card and system config and your render will be ready for you in a second. So if this tutorial is useful for you, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel and share this content with your dear friends. Thanks for your time, thanks for watching, and goodbye.